anaerobic systems, they're like a, a sewer treatment plant right there on the property. There's about three or four stages it goes through, and then. Uh, <laughs> I'm here to tell you a few things about myself with objects that represent my past, present, and my future. I can't really introduce myself without introducing my twin sister. Um, we were born together in Fulda, Germany. Her name is Ashley. And um, here I am, and here she is. Um, we were diagnosed as identical twins, and um, being a military brat, when we were born in Fulda, the hospital could not, I guess, deliver us with the amount of time that we had since we were a month and a half early. So we had to get sent to a German hospital where they delivered us and made sure that we were okay. Um, <laughs> when we got to the States, when I was three years old, we went to California and then we came here to Texas. So I always say, I wasn't born in Texas, but I got here as soon as I could. Um, as we grew up, we were literally joined at the hip, even though we weren't conjoined. Um, we did everything together, switched classes, did the whole cliche deal. Um, no one could tell us apart at the time, but it seemed like I didn't have my own identity. I was always twin. Hey, twin, which one are you, Ashley or Amber? Huh? Hey, twin, come on, get over here. Which one of the twins did that? You know, I couldn't just be Amber. I wanted to be Amber so bad. And what made it worse is my mom decided to capitalize on the fact that we were twins. She put us in acting and modeling. And she thought we were going to be the next 10, Tamara, Mary-Kate, Ashley, you name it. She thought we were going to make it big. But we ended up, as we grew up, having separate interests. She got pregnant um, when we were in high school. And that's when I realized, you know what? This is the beginning of our life. We will not be seen as... Ashley and Amber, we will be seen as two different entities, Ashley with her daughter and just Amber. And at that point, I was like, wow, maybe this is a chance where I can be me. They can tell us apart. I have my own identity. Well, this is where it gets to my next object, which is my present. This is my office um, ornament. It says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. It also has a picture of a butterfly. And I believe that a butterfly is the object and the symbol of my present because as it goes to each flower, it takes something away from it. And that's how I feel about life. As it's trying to find its own identity with a whole bunch of butterflies, it, it, they each have their own unique design where you know it's just that butterfly. And that's how I try to define my present. I wanted to find Amber. Amber without being a twin. Amber just by herself. Well, I got that chance. And as we started working and living our separate lives, I got to be Amber. And I got married at 19, so that was a whole name change. Not only did I get to be Amber, I got to be Amber with a different name, but we did look alike. So I always had her, but I get the chance to say, hey, Amber, what are you doing today? Hey, that's a great shirt, Amber, just anything. And I was happy not to be called twin, or which one are you, or are you Ashley or Amber? I was like, yes, my own identity. But then social media pops up, Facebook, and I get messages on social media, hey, I think you're being catfished. And they print screen a shot of my sister and her page. And I'm like, hmm, I didn't talk about my sister. And why didn't I talk about my sister while we were living our separate lives? Because no one would believe me. If I said, hey, I have a twin sister, they would say, no, nah, prove it. And I'm like, why would I lie about being a twin? It's really nothing, that, you know, for attention. That's just who I am. So I stopped, you know, introducing her. And um, when they found out, hey, you're being catfished, I'm like, no, I'm not being catfished. That's my twin sister. I just didn't recognize her because I wanted to rec you to recognize me for me, not me for being a twin. But in my present, I learned I can't introduce myself without introducing my twin. And this is where I get to my third object. It says, bless our home, love and laughter. And it's a cross. I'm not gonna get too religious, but I went through a life-threatening surgery where they, I lost a lot of my hair, and that was two years ago. And she was with me through all of it, and she cut her hair, she cut her hair for me. So, to show me that she's still my twin sister, I'm not just Amber, I still have a sister, I still have a family. And when she cut her hair for me, and I beat, what I had to go through successfully and I'm in remission now that showed me that she will always be there for me and I shouldn't introduce myself without introducing my sister. And in my 
future. She will always be my sister, no matter what. And I can't introduce myself <laughs> without introducing my sister. And I want to thank you for listening. And I want to thank you for um, just being there to help me out with this speech. And thank you so much.